I dedicate this video to Sir Chitore Goyasin, a political prisoner who has been in incarceration for more than three years. Yes, yesterday, uh, Bobby Wine was in Busia district. As you know, there is a freedom tour going on in the country, Uganda, which was announced by the NUP principal Robert Chagrin sent him Bobby Wine. But when Bobby Wine was in Busia, uh, he received another thunderous reception. In fact, I'm, I'm starting to ask myself in which of the past two districts did Bobby Wine get a lot of support? Some say it was Mayuge, some say it was Busia. When he was going to Busia, he first started a, 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 a movement march from Iganga district because Iganga is adjacent to Busia district. And we all remember in the 2021 general elections, which ended two years back, Bobby Wine was barred from campaigning in this district. In fact, when he was heading to, to Busia, he was blocked by police not to go to that district. So in this episode, I've come to talk about the, the freedom tour which was in Busia, the merits and demerits which were in this freedom tour. But before I do this, I want to, to let you know that if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, uh, this would be the right channel for you to subscribe to. <laughs> So that is Bobby Wayne for you. I, to me, I think Bosia became the biggest reception ever since Bobby Wayne uh, started this freedom tour because it all started in Iganga and he made a, a, a movement march up to Busia district. When you look at the results which were gotten from the 2021 presidential election, you will see that you will see that Bob Wayne got um, uh, 46,188 votes to Museveni's 44,879 votes. And Bob Wen here won Busia district with a small margin. Okay, you, might, you, you may make it 50-50. Uh, uh, but uh, if you put in, in context that the, the vote was not stolen, because the 2021 uh, uh, presidential election, to me, it was a selection based on what happened. So when Bob Wen, when Bob Wen reached Busia, he made a very good speech. In fact, there, there were very many people. But when you look at uh, the playground where the speech was held, you realize that the stage was in the somehow in the not at the end of the pitch. I think the the organizers of that event uh, didn't believe that very many such a crowd of people would come to that playground, so they didn't cover the whole. They didn't get a, a very good view of the stage, but nevertheless, there were very, there were very, there were very many people who attended this rally. Secondly, when Bobby Wine was delivering his message, we also got a glitch because the sound system was not good. I think now the principal should change the sound system, especially where uh, a big crowd is anticipated. In districts which have a, a very big a very big population, a very good sound system should be used so that every every person can hear the, the revolutionary message. Okay, making an an entry in a district was a hundred percent 
it was a success but giving out the speech in Russia we had a problem with the sound system so I think that the sound system must be worked on so that people can hear the message uh, three it was also noted that the regime closed the border you we all know that Busia is the is on the border between Kenya and Tanzania and the regime decided to close the custom and the border I think they were anticipating either people attacking those stations so you can see how the regime uh, uh, somehow feels the uh, the pinch of Robert Chagrin sent him Bobby Wine. So the Freedom Tour in Busia so far to me is the biggest and it is it, it still shows that uh, the momentum is still on. So today as he's heading to Mbari we are waiting to see what is going to happen. Okay? But I still uh, thank Bobby Wine for announcing this Freedom Tour because the opposition needed it uh, basing on what is happening basing on, on what is happening in the different opposition political parties. FDC is in this area, DP was sold, UPC is the same. The only standing party which somehow has a leverage is NUP. And NUP must cover all those gaps which were left by another party. This was a huge crowd which symbolizes that the, 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 the population is ready for change. Of course, that is my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to see to do more of such videos. <laughs>
Russia.